I could have carried it up here. Oh, no, that's all right. I wanted to bring it up myself. I pressed out all the wrinkles so it's in perfect condition. Well, you didn't have to do that. I wanted to. I love this dress and I loved wearing it. You did? Mm-hmm. Anybody would. Where should I put it? Well, uh, just put it down anywhere. I can't put it down anywhere. Where were you going to put it? Uh, back in the trunk, I guess. Oh, no, it shouldn't go back in that old trunk. No reason for it to be anywhere else. But it should be here, in Josette's room. Okay, you put it down somewhere and I'll hang it up later on. All right. There. Looks so beautiful lying there. It looks like it's waiting for Josette to come in and, and put it on and, and wear it to some fine party somewhere. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Is Mr. Collins here? No, he's not. Oh, when will he be back? Tonight sometime. How's he feeling? All right, I guess. He was very upset from that party, you know. Well, yeah, it bothered him for a while. He didn't say much. He kind of stayed by himself. I was so stupid. Well, what do you mean? I shouldn't have said that about seeing the little girl. It upset him so much. Yeah, it did. Did he say why it upset him? No, not a word. It's all my fault. I ruined that party. No, it's not your fault. Now, that's just the way Mr. Collins is. He's you know, kind of strange about that stuff. You know what I mean? I, I think so. You know, he came to see me last night. Last night? Mm-hmm. After the party. You mean he went up to Collinwood? Yes. He was very apologetic. Oh, Willie, he gave me the most beautiful present I've ever been given. Well, what present did he give you? Josette's music box. The music box? Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it is. I listened to it before I went to bed last night. And then this morning, I... I sat listening to it for hours and hours. I well, you, you shouldn't do that. Why? Why? Well, it, it, it's an old music box. It might get worn. It's you might not be able to get it fixed. Willie, I'll be careful. To think that she she sat and played that music box right here in this room. She's become a very real person to me. A perfume. Jasmine. I'm very glad that for one night I, I could wear her dress and in a sense be her. And now I've been given something that belonged to her. And I can sit and listen to it and maybe even have the same thoughts that she had. Mr. Collins was saying we should have waited until tomorrow for the party. Why? Because tomorrow's Josette's birthday. Her birthday? Yeah. He was saying that it was on her birthday that she was given the music box. And now it's been given to me. That makes me feel even closer to her. What are you doing up? Well, I heard the storm. I thought I'd better check to see if everything's all right. Well, everything is fine. I'll see that the doors and the windows are secure. Barnabas? What is it? Has anybody been in the house tonight? Why do you ask? Because of something I found. What? This. This wall? Yeah. It, it looks like it belongs to a kid, but, but I'm pretty sure no kid could have gotten into the house. Every door and window was locked all day long. Oh, why did you find it? In the basement, near the coffin. The coffin? Willie, if you let young David sneak in here during the day... I, there's no way he could have, Barnabas, I swear to you. The house has been locked up tight as a drum all day long. Then where did this come from? I don't know, Barnabas. If David had gotten into the house and gotten to that coffin, we would have heard about it by now. Well, of course, he isn't the only kid who hangs around here. 
What do you mean? Well, there's that little girl. Little girl? The one I told you about, the one who plays around here. But I don't see how she could have gotten in here either. How old was that girl? Uh, nine, ten. Nine, ten. You know, it's funny. Maggie Evans talked about seeing a little girl. I thought she was crazy. She was. Hey, maybe that boy was down there all the time and, and we never noticed it before. Possibly. But I'd better go and take a look in the basement just the same. Well, you want me to come with you? No. I'll go alone. You stay here. Well, what do you expect to find? Nothing, but I'd better look anyway. Barnabas? What? I, I keep having the strangest feeling. What are you talking about? I keep having a feeling that, that there's someone else in this house besides us. Wait here. tell you I was staying here. Well, no, he didn't. Well, I, I stopped by to talk to him and I got caught in a storm. And he was kind enough to let me stay in the house. You're spending the night here in this house? Mm-hmm. Where? In Josette's room. Josette? Willie, the strangest thing... Miss Willis, do you really think it's a good idea for you to stay here? A good idea? Well, I, I mean, would they be worried out about you that the people at Collinwood? No, I don't think so. I think they've all gone to sleep by now. Now, you can't tell. A and I know you don't want them to worry. Listen, Willie, I don't want to go out in a storm like this, and it's not going to blow right, over wait, until... Wait, I, I got a coat you could wear. Now, I'll go home with you to make sure you get home through the woods, all right, okay? That's very nice of you, but it, it's not necessary. You want to stay here? Well, to be quite honest with you, I like the idea of spending the night in Josette's room. You do? Yes. It's very comfortable. Anyway, I wouldn't drag anybody out in a storm like this. Now, look, I wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't. You surprise me, Willie. Why? You never used to be this thoughtful. Miss Winnett. Yes? What is it? You're making a big mistake. Why do you say that? Yes, Willie. Why do you say that? Why is Miss Winters making a mistake? Of course, people might get the wrong idea. Because she's staying in this house tonight? Yeah. I'm sure that your concern is completely unwarranted. Of course it is. Maybe so. But Willie was kind enough to offer to take me back to Collinwood. Was he? Yes, I told him it wasn't necessary, but I appreciate his generosity. Well, Willie is a very generous young man, aren't you, Willie? Oh, come now, don't be modest. I dare say that you will someday be amply rewarded for your generosity. Well, what brings you downstairs, Miss Winters? The storm? Couldn't you sleep? No, it wasn't that. A very strange thing happened. What? Well, I was sound asleep and a voice woke me. It was singing. Singing? Yes, it was a little girl. A little girl? I thought she was in my room. She kept singing the same song over and over again. London Bridge is falling down. Impossible. I know. When I lit the candle, there was nobody in the room. But I heard the singing distinctly. It must have been your imagination. I was wide awake. It was so real. I assure you, there is no little girl in this house. I suppose it was my imagination, but I don't know. It must have been. I guess so. Are you frightened to return to Josette's room? Oh, no. I'm not afraid. Are you sure? Yes, I was just being silly. There's no reason at all why I shouldn't go back to that room. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. I will. Good night. Night. Who is she, Bob? 
Barnabas, this little girl. There is no little girl. But Miss Wynne has heard her. That was her imagination. Well, she didn't imagine this. How did it get here, Barnabas, unless she left it here, whoever she is? There is no little girl. But Barnabas... There is no little girl, you understand. Yeah. Wait. What were you saying to Miss Winters when I came into the room? What? Go on, what were you saying? Well, why don't you answer me? You were trying to warn her about me, weren't you? No. You were warning her about me. Yet, the truth. At last, you're telling me the truth. You can kill me if you want to. But I didn't want you to harm her. She never did anything to deserve. You know what would have happened to you if you had warned her. Yes. And you know what I should do to you now for even trying. You gonna kill me? No. What are you going to do? Nothing. Nothing? You mean you change your mind? You aren't going to punish me? No. I want you to talk to me. Talk? Well, better still, don't talk, but stay here. You like it, don't you? That's why you don't want to harm her. That's it, isn't it? Don't harm her, Barnabas. She never did anything to deserve Be it. Be quiet, Willie. You don't want to do it. I can tell you don't. Please. Oh, Willie, the sound of your voice is irritating me. You best you go to bed. Barnabas. Do as I say. All right. And stay in bed for the rest of the night. He said, sure, uh, I, I should make sure I gave you some breakfast or at least some coffee. Thank you, Willie, but I've got to hurry. I didn't mean to sleep this late. Uh, did you sleep all right? Beautifully. Uh, I, I mean, nothing disturbed you during the night. Of course not. What are you talking about? Yeah, nothing. Did you expect me to see ghosts? No. <laughs> well, I must say, I, I expected to, sleeping in Josette's room. Well, I, I mean... It, you, you didn't see or hear anything? No. Why do you keep asking? No reason. I, I, I just wanted to make sure you had a good night. I had a wonderful night. Willie, it's hard for me to believe that you're really this concerned. I, I guess I'm not. Well, then. Come to think of it. Yeah? For a moment, I... I did have a feeling as though someone were in the room. What happened? Nothing. I wasn't afraid. Of course, it was only a dream, that's why. Yeah, sure. Or was it? What do you mean? Willie, I know you've changed a lot, but... You think it was me? Was it? Well, no, I swear I wasn't anywhere near that room. Are you sure? Oh, I wouldn't do anything like that. Well, I even offered to take you home last night, remember? Yes. Well, I wouldn't hurt you. You gotta believe that. I wouldn't want anyone to hurt you. Anyone, you gotta believe that too. Now, you do believe it, don't you? All right, Willie. I believe it. There's nothing to get so upset about. Nobody's gonna hurt me. As a matter of fact, when I was in Josette's room, I felt safer than I ever have in my life. Oh, I thought I'd let you know the other day when you came with Miss Winters that visitors aren't welcome. I'm not a visitor and I'm not interested in being welcome. I came to see Mr. Collins. You can't. Why not? He doesn't want to see you. 
Then I prefer that he tell me himself. He can. He isn't here. Then I'll wait. He won't be back for a long time. Just how long, precisely? I don't know. I'm in no hurry. Uh, you can't stay here. <sighs> Mr. Collins has done a remarkable job with this house. He must have made a very thorough study of the period to know so many details. Oh, please, Mr. Collins won't like it when he finds you here. <sighs> Miss Winters tells me that you did a good deal of the work. Did Mr. Collins refer to any drawings of the house? No. Then what were his references? They must have been very exact. What do you want to know for? I told you I'm interested in the history. This house is part of it. Well, he, he had old pictures. I thought you said he didn't. He did. There was no need to lie. If there was, I can't imagine what the reason could be. I only wanted to know where Mr. Collins could learn so much about the original condition of the house. It's almost as though he had seen it at the time. trustworthy person. You don't have to wait with me. I won't walk off with anything. I have strict orders from Mr. Collins that no strangers are allowed in here. I'll explain to Mr. Collins that I'm responsible. Please, please try not to be so nervous. I'm not nervous. <laughs> you look absolutely terrified. Is, is Mr. Collins really that difficult? Oh, will you stop asking questions? Well, if he is so difficult, why do you work for him? Perhaps because he wants to. Or perhaps I'm not difficult at all. I told her no visitors were allowed. Not rudely, I hope. You must be Miss Hoffman. Yes, how do you do? That will be all, Willie. Thank you. See that? It's getting close to dawn. I know. It's something I always know. Something I can't control. I wish I could control it though. I wish I could hold back the dawn and make the night eternal. But that's a power that will never come to me. items that we need? Right here. Well, I want you back as soon as possible. I will. Well, I want you to look after the house with great care. Well, I do. But Miss Winters was here the other day. Well, you said she could come here anytime she wanted to. I know, but she came with that Hoffman woman. I don't really know who she is, but she asks too many questions. Too many. I don't want her around here. I'll watch out. Well, it's time for me to go downstairs. You may as well leave now. Okay, I'll get back fast. Still down there. She picked out a room. Good. Well, is it good? 
I mean, is it on the level? I don't know. Well, can you trust her? I'm not sure. But if you're not sure, how, how can you let her go out of here? I didn't say I'd let her out. Well, then what are you going to do? I'm going to kill her. You're going to kill her? I'm afraid I'll have to. I went to her room tonight with that intention. But she anticipated me. Was waiting for me. I planned to bring the body back here, but now she's made that so much easier for me. She, she told me what she was going to do. The kind of experiment she was going to make. Well, what about that, Barnabas? Can she really cure you? I don't really know. It would be good if she could. Would it, Willie? Would it really? Well, sure, it would mean we wouldn't have to do the things we've been doing. You think things will change for you? Some things, yeah. It would mean that I could live without... without the feeling of something terrible happening any minute. If you think you'll be free of me, you're wrong. Because you will be with me for the rest of your days. I know that. What she has to offer me is very enticing to me. But it may be my downfall. She was clever enough to discover my identity. Clever enough to trick me into walking into a room which might well have been a trap. But it wasn't. I know. That's what bothers me. That's the contradiction. Then her theory about changing the structure of my blood. It's simple, logical. Too simple, perhaps. Somehow I feel I'll never really be able to trust her entirely. Well, why not give her a chance? Because that chance may be my last mistake. I can't risk everything. My existence may not have been what it should be. But at least I have permanence. No, I cannot trust Dr. Hoffman. I cannot take a chance. I will do away with her. Now. Barnabas. That was quite satisfactory. Fine. I've prepared a list of things that I'll need. There's a chemical supply house in Bangor. They'll have all these things. Willie will have to go. Very complete. Willie, you have an errand to do. You can do that tomorrow morning. Sure. The room will have to be cleaned and scrubbed. Do you hear that, Willie? You might as well go down and begin now. You want me to begin? That's what I said. Okay. Good evening, Willie. Dr. Hoffman was here today. Oh, what did she want? Well, she moved a few things into the room we gave her. Said she'd come back tonight to see you. Oh, what a pity. I won't be here. Well, where are you going? If she drops in, you may tell her that I've gone to Collinwood for the evening. Why are you going there? Because I have relatives there, remember? You mean you're going up there to pay a social visit? Now, why else would I be going there? Well, that's what I'd like you to tell me. Willie, you have the most annoying way of getting things confused. I am not beholden to you. You are beholden to me. And don't forget that. Barnabas, you're going up to Collinwood to see Vicky Winters and nobody else. Miss Winters is an extraordinary young woman. She hears the voices of the past. She has a sensitivity which few others have. I wish you'd leave her alone. Leave her alone? 
Why should I, I deny myself the pleasure of her charming company? Now, you know what I mean. Don't hurt her. Willie, you do get to be a bore. No wonder I seek other company. You got plans for a Barnabas. I don't like that. I have no plans. At least nothing sinister. In the manner of all men attracted to beautiful women, I shall try to make Miss Winters favor me with her attentions. But you're not an ordinary man. True. I have certain distinct advantages. And least of all, a less limited point of view. Yeah. And no scruples about how to go about to interest her. You'll hurt her if you have to. Willie, let's not go back on that. I have no plans to harm Miss Winters. Now, shall we let it go at that? And what if I don't believe you? You have no choice but to believe me. You know, I really don't understand this mood you're in, Willie. If anything, I should think you'd be filled with joy this evening. Why? Because Maggie Evans is alive. I must admit that the thought of it doesn't fill me with much joy. And what happens if Dr. Hoffman can't keep her from telling everything she knows? All we can do is hope that he has the situation completely under control. I think it's risky giving her a room downstairs. Dr. Hoffman has a few foolish notions about science. And we do have an empty room. This is a big empty house. Uh, this house isn't empty. Not with the secret it holds. And Hoffman knows that secret. Well, you don't seem to care that she knows. I didn't say that. Well, you're giving her everything she wants. For the moment. Only for the moment. And I want you to concentrate on Dr. Hoffman. What do you want me to do? Watch her. Keep track of her every moment, however innocent it may seem. For the time being, I must cooperate with her. But there'll soon come a time when I shall be prepared to... To what? I'm not sure. There's no need for you to worry about it. Just watch her. All right, I'll keep an eye on her. You know, how very amusing it is. What? Your concern for Miss Winters and your total indifference to whatever plans I may have for Dr. Hoffman. I told you, leave Vicky alone. And I've told you that no harm will come to her. So don't concern yourself about her. Don't even think about her. The difference between you and Miss Winters is a gap as wide as the sky. Remember that. Well, now I must be going. It's strange, isn't it? How people cling to life. How they seem to consider it so much better to grow old, ugly, and humiliated than to... To what? And to remain young and beautiful forever, untouched by time. Untouched by anything. Except loneliness. <laughs> 